Hi guys, good evening. Hello everybody, how are you guys? My name is Shubhang Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vedantu. And today we are going to talk about how to tackle difficult topics in JE Advanced Paper. So, how are you guys doing this evening? Let me know in the chat box quickly. Come on guys. Just a second. Awesome. Let's start. So, what are we going to talk about in today's session? Today's session, we are going to talk about many things, not just one topic. So, the very first thing that we are going to talk about in today's class is which how to handle the JE advanced paper with respect to difficult topics yes that's the broader criteria broader idea of the session but we have to also in order to achieve this we have to achieve few smaller targets in our paper very first one is what to attempt first sorry very first one is what to attempt first Many, many, many of us face this problem in the exam that uh, we are not sure how to start the paper. Then we end up getting stuck in between somewhere and we lose a lot of time. Now, the idea here is guys, JE Advance ka paper, you know, is an elimination exam. JE Advance ka paper is an elimination type paper. JE Advance may in order to ace the exam, in order to get very good ranks, we don't have to solve the entire paper. Right? It's not JE mains where we have to solve as many questions or we have to aim for 280, 270, 250 plus to get a very good rank. That means attempt percentage should be high. JE advanced may we can have a moderate attempt percentage, but we should have our accuracy very, very, very high. Timing is generally not a problem in the paper unless we get stuck somewhere. Okay, now what should you attempt first then? My suggestion, my personal suggestion would be guys, that always try to look for easy questions throughout the paper. Search for questions that you would want to attempt first irrespective of the subject. Okay. For example, you went to the SCQ section, you got some questions there. So you attempted few easy ones, you got all of them right. Basically, you attempted them because you knew you would get it right. Your concept was clear in the question. Just by reading it once, you were able to understand what's happening there. So you started solving, got the answer, moved ahead to the next question. Like this, if you have, if you select and solve in the beginning itself, easy questions irrespective of the subject, trust me guys, you would have gained a lot of speed, a lot of confidence and a decent number of marks already. Okay, so the very first thing is what to attempt first, look for easy questions in the paper. When I say easy questions, your accuracy here would be somewhere around 90 to 95 percent that high meaning you surely know how to solve the question okay so the very first thing is what to attempt first look for easy questions in the paper whether scq whether multiple correct type integer type kahi bhi ho, wherever it is look for the ones where you will be confident where you can solve that question and attack them first irrespective even if they are lengthy Thick. So, you would have gained good enough momentum, good enough marks. Now, what to do next? Now, you may choose to solve the best, the fav your favorite subject first, the remainder of the questions of your favorite subject first. There also, I would suggest pick your battles, guys. In order to win JE Advance, in order to win the war, we might have to lose some battles, but we always have to pick the ones that we fight. So always, always select the question that you want to solve and don't just be in, in a worry of attempt percentage and keep making mistakes as you go ahead. Don't do that. Thick. So the very first was what to attempt first. Now, second is, should I pay more concentration to SCQ type question? Should SCQ type questions be given more preference or comprehension type? The one that have single correct basically. Not really, no. Not really, no. 
SCQ type should not be preferred, but yes, SCQ along with multiple correct type where you have part marking as a whole, that will act as a primary pool for marks, guys. Integer type mein, there's a lot of mistakes of happening. Uh, there's a lot of chance of mistakes. Matrix match mein, there is a possibility that you get uh, stuck in the options. Options are made very difficult way. Mein. But SCQ and multiple correct type where you have part marking available. These are your primary targets. This is what you want to score marks in. So Shiva, have I answered your question? You can attempt only SCQ and M MCQ or MSQ types. But then you have to be very, very careful. Keep your attempt percentage high. Attempt the easy ones first that you feel very, very confident in. Now, so SCQ more preference, not just that. You should also add your MSQs or whatever you want to call it, MCQ to it. And then you can say, Ki, huh, this should be given more preference in comparison to the others. Next point. This is something which is very important. What should I do right now? So there are many students who primarily started preparation after JE mains 2. Is there anybody here who primarily started their preparation uh, JE mains after JE mains 2? So when you started your preparation after JE mains 2 or JE mains 1 for JE advanced, you had a lot of crunch of time. In the beginning, you thought you'll be able to cover a lot of syllabus. But now, when you are in the exam week, you are very, very tensed about a lot of syllabus not having covered. Don't worry, guys. This is not, as I said, J Advance is an elimination exam. It's not necessary that we attempt all the question paper, all the questions given in the exam. We have to pick our battles. So whatever chapter you have not prepared, skip it for now. It looks, it, it might come to your mind that last moment pe let me mug a few things here and there that might be able to help me in the exam. It will not. Why? Because J advance is not J mains. If it was J mains, I would have suggested you a few topics that yes, at least mug these up before the exam, even if you have not done the entire topic. But this is J advance. Things will be highly conceptual in every question. There will be very little factual questions in the paper. So it won't help spending time on new topics or things you have not touched till now. But please make sure that whatever you have done is correctly revised before the exam. Okay. Now, next is... Next is let's uh, take up numerical thing ki how to approach numerical type question. See numerical type I will divide into three parts physical chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry. It has been observed generally that physical chemistry wale questions in numerical types are of moderate to high difficulty level. Okay. Moderate to high difficulty level pe you have numeric type physical chemistry questions. So if you're sure of the concept, yes, please go ahead, attack the question. But before you go into the math of it, before you start spending time in solving it, try to make a rough roadmap in your mind that how do you plan to reach from the react, from the given data to the asked data without getting stuck in between. Is the path of solving question clear? Spend time in developing that first. If you're sure, go ahead, solve the question of physical chemistry and numerical. I'm sure you'll get it correct. But if that path is hazy, don't try to waste time there. It's not worth it. Rather concentrate than here. Now let's talk about organic chemistry part that comes in uh, numeric type questions. So in numeric type question, organic chemistry ke questions come in two ways. One is they give you a lot of molecules and they ask you which of them follow a given criteria. Have you seen such questions? Which of the following compounds follow aldol, will give aldol reaction? Which of the following compounds will give positive uh, test with uh, Tollens reagent? And they give lot of a list of compounds. So such that is one type of question. These type of question generally have one of the given compounds or structures as fact based or almost corner borderline out of syllabus. So be very careful. 
ठीक है सच क्वेश्चन दे जनरली हैव अ ट्रैप वन ऑफ द गिवेन स्ट्रक्चर विल बी बॉर्डर लाइन आउट ऑफ सिलेबस और विल बी फैक्ट बेस्ड फैक्चुअल आंसर सो बी वेरी केयरफुल इन दैट सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट वी सी इन ऑर्गेनिक ट्यूमरिक टाइप इज द कन्वर्जन टाइप क्वेश्चन दे गिव यू अ रिएक्टेंट दे गिव यू अ प्रोडक्ट दे आस्क यू टू चूज द रिएजेंट फ्रॉम द गिवन ऑप्शन और फ्रॉम द गिवन लिस्ट इन सच क्वेश्चन गाइज देर आर मोर देन वन वेज टू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन राइट सम रिएजेंट से वी कैन सॉल्व आय द माइनर प्रोडक्ट रूट अवॉइड दैट वेन एवर यू गेट अ कन्वर्जन टाइप क्वेश्चन Always ensure that you are following the major product route. Every step may you should consider only and only the major product. Now, inorganic questions for uh, numeric type. Inorganic questions for numeric type are generally very simple. They are commonly from chemical bonding chapter. ठीक है, hybridization based, structure based, or they will be from your coordination compound chapter. pairing or uh, pairing or unpairing of electron based inner orbital outer orbital based logic generally this is going to be the situation so inorganic you should try and attempt most likely you'll be able to solve physical chemistry only attempt if the road map to solve the problem is very clear and organic be very careful of fact based or, or uh, borderline out of syllabus so that you are aware what is happening theek hai so by making sure you are attempting the high accuracy ones the ones you feel very very confident in first you will roughly be able to capture 1/5th or 1/4th of the paper 1/5th is my best bet here ki 1/5th of the paper i'll be able to capture here itself then when i give preference to the other may the remaining may when i give preference to sq and uh, msq types you should be able to target roughly from 1/5th now you should have gone to 1/3rd after that whatever questions remain that is your numeric type or uh, or matrix type you should be very careful in picking your battles there please and uh, try and understand this point advance ka paper you don't have to solve full accurately you just have to try and attempt as many questions correctly as you can to get qualified for ji advance to get a decent rank you should target at least 1/3 of the paper perfectly done 1/3 of the paper with 100% accuracy then the rest you can still target few more questions here and there with lower accuracy okay so this is it guys this is the trick to mastering ji advance basically this is how you strategize to attack your paper and try to follow this it is difficult generally because you know before the exam lot of things go wrong we reach the center late the center person is asking something we don't have a document perhaps so or the line is too long so lot of things go wrong so remain calm remain composed always take deep breaths whenever you feel anxious and i'm sure you will get through we have studied so much right for two years so i'm sure you'll get through it so good luck guys and we'll keep coming up with more such videos on this channel so stay tuned and do subscribe the channel bye guys take care